everyone, my name is Annette and you may know me as Netter's Plays. And today on Applied Mechanics, I'm going to go over the game of Plume. So this is a simple set collection game. However, the way that you pick up the cards and also score them is what makes this game interesting. So let me show you a little bit about it and why I really like it. So the first thing you'll do is grab your deck and set it up exactly like this. You'll place a marker in the middle of this flock. And what you'll do on your turn is grab any one of the cards that is surrounding it and add it to your birdhouse. You'll then move the marker to the space where the card was. Then the next player can choose which card they want on their turn. If a player ever divides the flock into two groups, then the smaller group will be discarded and then we continue play with the remaining cards. If the marker is ever next to only one card, then the player continues drawing cards until the marker is next to at least two other cards. And the game continues until there's no more cards in the flock. At the end of the game, we look at all the birds that we've collected into our birdhouse, and we can discard any one. Every card has a special scoring effect, and we will only score the card if it has the majority of that type. In this example, we have two of each one of these, so we will score each one of these separately. For example, the collector likes variety, so we'll score a point for every different type of bird in our house. And in this example, we have six different birds, so this card will score six as well as this collector. So as you can see, this game involves spatial awareness. The players have to know exactly what kind of card they want to pick up and kind of lead the direction of the marker. Another thing that they have to be aware of is the type of cards they're collecting because you can only score the majority. So you always have to be aware of where that marker is going, what you're picking up, and what you're going to score. Well, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!